There are those who seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge, that is curiosity. There are those who seek knowledge to be known by others, that is vanity. There are those who seek knowledge in order to serve, that is love. Hello my friends and welcome to True Heroes. Today we're going to talk about the life of Bernard of Clairvaux, who was born at the castle of Fontaine in Burgundy. He renounced the world, to which he would have been given, by which he would have given many riches, and joined the monks at Citeaux. To escape the temptations of the devil, he, at 22 years of age, determined to enter that monastery, the first house of the Cistercian Order, then famous for sanctity. When his brothers learned his desire to enter that monastery, they did their best to deter him, but he ended up convincing all of them to come with him. All of his brothers, with the exception of Navard, that is, who was the youngest, he was left to be the support of their father in his old age. The brothers were trying to comfort Navard and told him, quote, you will now be heir of everything as they went to leave. And the boy responded, quote, yes, you leave me earth and keep heaven for yourselves. Do you call that fair? He too eventually left the world, and even their aged father gave away his wealth and honor and ended up joining his sons as a monk of Clairvaux. Only one sister remained behind, and she was very attached to the world and to its pleasures, and she once went to visit Bernard, who refused to see her initially, but eventually accepted to see her, but only as a minister of Christ and not as her brother. And the words that he gave her convinced her so much of her wrongdoing that two years later, she eventually became a nun. So the entire family eventually entered the religious life. The exception was the mother, and that was because she had died before Bernard had even went to the religious life. Bernard's holy example attracted many novices, and so this resulted in many monasteries being erected, and St. Bernard himself was eventually appointed abbot at Clairvaux. Unsparing with himself, he at first expected too much of his brethren, who were very disheartened by how severe he was with the rule, but soon realizing his mistake, he became much lighter in the rule with them, though he kept all the sacrifices and strict rule for himself. In spite of his desire to be unknown, the fame of his sanctity spread far and wide, and many churches asked for him to be their bishop, though he was able to avoid this with the help of Pope Eugenius III, who was actually a former subject of his. But his retirement and his hiding from the world was continually invaded, for the poor and the weak sought his protection, bishops, kings, and popes went to him for advice, and at length Eugenius himself charged him to preach the Second Crusade. This crusade ended up failing, and Bernard said that this was not because it was a wrong cause, but rather due to the sins of the crusaders themselves. He wrote many books which clearly show that his doctrine was more the gift of God than the result of his own labors. He was a great assistance to the Pope Innocent II in putting down the schism of Peter de Leon, both at the courts of the emperor and of King Henry of England and at a council held at Pisa. Bernard died in 1153, being 63 years old. His most precious writings have earned for him the titles of the last of the fathers and a doctor of the church. Pope Alexander III placed him among the saints. So from the life of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, let us really again be detached from the things of this world, recognizing that God alone is what we should truly desire. 
and let us convince our siblings to do the same. We see that the siblings of St. Bernard tried to convince them to not leave the world, and the results of their arguments resulted in the brothers of Bernard going with him to renounce the world. So let us try to do the same then for our own siblings. Tomorrow is the feast of St. Jean Francis de Chantel, who established the Order of the Visitation with the help of St. Francis de Sales. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Bernard de Claveau, pray for us.